Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Actually, I solved this problem as a video and I forgot a mic. So, I have to give voice over. I will try my best to balance with whatever is written on the board. What is this problem about? We have to find out the quotient, sum of quotients of x cube and x power minus 13 terms from the expansion x plus 1 into 1 minus x square into 1 plus 3 by x plus 3 by x square plus 1 by x cube whole to the power of 5. Looks very complicated problem but if you just try to simplify that it will become 1 minus x square whatever is there we can write it as 1 plus x into 1 minus x and whatever is given in parents is with the power of 5 that guy will become x plus 1 whole cube divided by that term will become x plus 1 whole cube by x cube whole to the power of 5. So, we can simplify this question. Then after that, we just need to find out what is the quotient of x cube and x power minus 13 in the given expansion. So, let us first try to work on x, simplify the expansion. When I try to do that, I will have Focus on whatever give, been given in parents is with a power of 5. When you take LCM, you see that that is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 divided by x cube whole to the power of 5. And that you are multiplying with x plus 1 into 1 plus x into 1 minus x. Because 1 minus x square can be written as 1 plus x into 1 minus x. Now, let us simplify and see how many x plus 1 terms we have here. We have 17 x plus 1 terms because we have x plus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 1 or 1 plus x whole to the power of 15 into 1 minus x divided by x power 15. So, the given problem simply becomes 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 divided by x power 15. Once we understand that the given expansion whatever is given looks complicated can be simplified as 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 divided by x power 15. Now, we have to look for quotient of x cube and quotient of x power minus 3. Let us first take quotient of x cube or quotient of x power 3 term. So, the question is simplified as what 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 divided by x power 15. In that we want quotient of x cube. So, if you take only the numerator part that is 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17, we need to find out where we have quotient of x power 18. Then only when we divide by x power 15, we will get what we need x cube term. So, that means I have to look for now x power 18 term in 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17. Now, let us try to open this and see what happens. 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17. So, that can be written as 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17. And remember, we need to get x power 18 term now. Now, from the first whatever the term we have 1 plus x whole to the power of 17. There is no chance of getting x power 18 term because the max the power can go is x power 17 only. But the second term what we have x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17, there we can have one term with x power 18 because 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 max will go to x power 17 at the time the quotient is 1. 
So this whole whatever we want to find out quotient of x cube is simply 0 minus 1 that is equals to minus 1. Once we are done with quotient of x cube, let us move to the next one that is quotient of x power minus 13. So, we understood the quotient of x cube is 0 minus 1 which is equals to minus 1. Now, in the numerator, what term I should look for? So that if I divide by x power 15, I will be getting x power minus 13. That should be x square term. Yes, you are correct. We have to look for now x square term in 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17. Let us write down that. We want x power minus 13 term in 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 by x power 5, which means we want x square term in 1, 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17. Now, 1 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 certainly will have x square terms because we have power going up to 17 x power 17 x power 0 to x power 17 so certainly x square term will be there let us like what we did earlier separate this into two parts we will write it as 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 and try to understand this expansion gives x square term what will be the quotient there 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 minus x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 1 plus x whole to the power of 17 certainly x square term will be there and the quotient will be 17 c2 we can check that by writing the expansion. We have 17 c0 1 power 17 x power 0 plus 17 c1 1 power 16 x power 1 plus 17 c2 1 power 15 x square. That is what we are interested in x square. So, what will be the quotient there? 17 c2. So, from the first term we are getting 17 c2 as the quotient. Now, let us go to the next one that is x into 1 plus x whole to the power of 17. Since x is already outside, we need to get only the x term then only x into x will become x square for which we need to find out the quotient. Now, when you write down 1 plus x whole to the power of 17, it will be 17 c0 1 power 17 x power 0 plus 17 c1 1 power 16 x power 1. Now, that x outside multiply with this x, you will get x square. That means, we understood that, that the quotient will be there 17 c1. Now, there is a minus between these two. So, the overall quotient value will be 17 c2 minus 17 c1. So, the final answer will be quotient of x cube that is minus 1 quotient of x power minus 13 that is 17 c2 minus 17 c1. Now, combine this sum of them they want. So, that is 17 c2 minus 17 c1 minus 1. We can simplify that 17 c2 is 136, 17 c1 is 17 and 1 is 1. So, the final answer will be 17 c2 minus 17 c1 minus 1 that is equals to 136 minus 17 minus 1 which is equals to 136 minus 18 and that is equals to 118. 
So, the sum of quotients of x cube and x power minus 13 in the expansion x plus 1 into 1 minus x square into 1 plus 3 by x plus 3 by x square plus 1 by x cube whole to the power of 5 is 136 minus 17 minus 1 that is 136 minus 18 and that is equals to 118. So, the final answer is 118.